Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to talk about error and response code of elastic load balancer. So before starting this video I would like to request you guys to please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon. Okay. So uh, as we know that 200 is always a success response and we have always been looking for that if any response comes so that should be 200 only but unfortunately sometimes it happens that we have to face some other response codes as well for example 4xx or 5xx so what are 4xx so keep this thing in mind like all the responses which are coming under 4xx series so these responses are considered to be client side responses for example if you see any response code as 400 so it means the particular client has generated some bad or mal formed request like request header is missing maybe you are hitting from any your uh, postmaster or postman sort of request you are hitting or maybe you have any customized request and the particular request header is not generated so at that particular moment you may face this issue okay 401 it means user is trying to access such a website where a user is not authorized to log into that portal but though even user is trying so that moment you will get 401 response from load balancer then after 403 it means forbidden that your request has been blocked by web i'm sorry that should be waf it means web application firewall or maybe any access control list then if you see any request or you can call it like error code which is 460 so client closed the connection before load balancer could respond for example that you hit this is client client hit route 53 or route 53 route 50 sent response to request uh, forwarded request to your uh, elb and elb could not respond within time and client closed the connection so this could also be a possible reason that you get 460 as a response code so your client like time out is quite short okay then after 5xx 5xx are server side error internal okay 500 is internal server error this error is with load balancer then after 502 is bad gateway it means application server closed the connection or sent back a mal formed response in the, in the same manner that the particular header and the request which was required from application server that did not send and it has sent some unwanted response so that is why your server will generate 502 now 503 service unavailable your load balancer sent request to these ec2 machines so either these are not in healthy state or these are not responding or you have not associated any target here or that could be possible the security group which you have associated with this uh, ec2 machine so that is not responding properly that could be a possible reason then for uh, 504 gateway timeout for example application is not responding it means the application which is installed on the server that is not responding or a problem could be with application server this could be your application this could be a web server and multi multiple more uh, like uh, you can have one application here and after that you can have any database here so maybe your web application is not responding maybe your applic your application is not, your application not responding maybe your db not responding so that could be any any case where you may find 504 then after 5 six one if you find this response code within your within log of your elb then you need to understand that the particular user which is trying to access this application so the user id provider because obviously we have we have multiple authentication mechanisms so if if your user is not authenticated from your id provider so at that moment you will see the response code as five six one so Keep this thing in mind when troubleshooting and when working with elastic load balancer. So you are supposed to know that what response code and what error code are there and how you can fix them up. Because first of all you need to understand that why this error code is there and what is relevance of this error code within your environment. Okay. So I hope this will definitely help you out and uh, this, this could be helpful for you in interview and 
in working life as well so this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server again if you have yet not subscribed to my channel so please do like share and subscribe thank you have a good time